Well, that, that was a good little battle. Uh, that's the future of the NBA. It was, was great. It was great. It was great to watch. But you know, no, no, I, yeah, I think you should take that back. What do you mean? One is the future and one is the now. Oklahoma City is the now. Yeah, but uh, I don't know about that yet. They haven't won a playoff series yet. Yeah, I think they're the now right now. I mean, because listen, the playoffs in the West are going to be crazy. Oh, it's going to be crazy because the two teams that got the most approved are the Timberwolves and the oh, Thunder. Nice. I mean, so, so I, I'm curious. And they're going to have a crazy matchup the first round of the playoffs. I can't wait for the playoffs. My thing with San Antonio, they got to get really busy this summer. We know what caliber player they got. You got to put some players around them. Because all that was cute, but you're still 12 and 48. But if you get some caliber players around them, I think we could, we could, you know, relive the system how it used to be. Well, they still got, I mean, but you got to look at the, uh, they, they got a ways to go. I mean, yeah. we're looking at three years probably. But he can make some moves this summer. Two yeah. or three players. I think, I think the I mean, youth we asked movement the question is earlier. done. Mm. What you, you say? I said trying the, all the young the, pieces the youth around The movement is dumb. You drafted. Vassal, you bought, you traded uh, Jadante Murray. Yep. You know, it's the youth movement. It's here. Now it's time to add to that veterans and try to win games and not be in a lottery for the. But we had this conversation earlier. Who's the Spurs' second best player? Well, it's either I, I, it's either I think, Devin Vassell. I think it's Vassell. Trey Jones. I think it's Vassell. It's Vassell, but they need a lot. Of, they need a lot. If a lot. you're the Spurs, do you just go to free agency and play no. a video like this? No, no you I'm don't just do saying that. show every the league. Do you want to play with Victor Webb? Hey, hey, yes, well, you first of all, you have to be patient. They're not close to winning. Like That's because they don't have no players. Though. That's right, but you just can't go. They're, they're, even if you bought in a great yeah, player, they're not going to win next year. Be patient, man. Chuck, I have a question. For yes, you. sir. When we were honoring LeBron when he passed all those records, you said he came in with all the pressure and he exceeded them. Victor came in with a lot of expectations and pressure. And he's putting up numbers that only Shaq did in his rookie year. Well, I think it's a little bit different. Uh, I've said that LeBron, LeBron played well. I think the Cavs played. I, I love to see a comparison of the records. They were not great that. Far. They were not great, but I think they were better than twelve and forty something. Uh, but LeBron, the Le, LeBron's the only player I who came out of high school. And and let's be honest, Victor was not. He was playing in the pros overseas. Right. Right. But LeBron's the only player in my 40 years at NBA who came in. Because as great as Kobe was, Kevin Garnett, McGrady, all those guys who came out of high school, LeBron's the only one who came out playing well right away. Mm. You know, you know. also, like, the one year that Carmelo had in college, he came and took his team to the playoffs his, his rookie year. Mm. So we're, we're talking about what you do your rookie year, you know. I think that... For, for Wimbenyama, the measurement is not going to be in his stats because, because of the, especially the way the game is played now, it's a little bit more free-flowing and offensively free-flowing. So it, it's all going to dictate wins. And that is going to dictate because in games like this, they don't have the same significance. Mm. And you could get numbers because you're on the court, even in losing times. Mm. So you can get, you know, we all have been on a team where a guy goes, oh, He's got 16. He's going to try to get 22. Right. And not saying he's trying to do that, but you can because everyone's took their the, uh, foot off the gas. But what Chet Holmgren is doing and has to do is being a part of a system and part of the system and part of winning. Yeah. You can't take your foot off the gas when you're playing Oklahoma City. So w I want to see Wimby. But in that environment. but they're still different for Chet. Yeah, it's different. It's because harder. I well, think it's a little harder. It's harder, but it's a different. He don't have to be the guy. He's not the guy. He's I not know. the guy. That's a, like. Uh, Victor is the guy. But again, you know, we all knew he was going to be the number one pick. Nobody really knew how he was going to play. Now we know we have a player. Spurs got to yeah. move quickly. It's now. It's now. This right. guy's good enough that to do patience, it now. Chuck. You're right, but we got to start building out. Oh, yeah, this they got to start building, but we're looking. Right we're we're, we're, we're probably – My first pick. They're, 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 they're not going to make the yeah, playoffs. They're going to make some moves this summer. Yeah, yeah, but they're not going to make the playoffs next year, but more than need, likely. Need so you got to say yourself, and, and you our, our goal is three years. Yeah. Three years, let's make the playoffs. What I know, and I agree with my guy Worldwide Wob, every time Chet plays Wemby, it's got to be on national TV because that is must-see tea every time it happens.